I made the only correct Hollow Knight tier list in human history. If anyone else tells you otherwise, they are objectively wrong. Yes. Also, I'm trying to be absolute radiance, but I think we all can agree that she is a bit. Once I beat her, I'll probably upload a video on that, but there's no telling when, so stay tuned. Also, how do I make an extra tier? Add row above Jesus reincarnated. And then we'll add one below hot boiled dog shit. All right, here we go. Dream Wilder. I mean, it depends what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's situational. But it's good for the situ for that situation. B tier. Dream Shield. Now this is so solidified mid, in my honest opinion. That is solidified mid. It's supposed to block attacks, but the thing is, like, half the projectiles in the game, it doesn't even block. And then it goes on a cooldown. I'll just drop it to D tier. I can't put it in boiled dog shit because it has some use. Fragile heart. I'm going to have to put it. Nah, it's not S tier. It's A tier. I really just like having it on when I'm just walking around going places. Rarely is it good for a boss unless, I'm, of course, I'm facing Markov. But for walking around, it's like, it's always good to have extra HP. What the fuck? And especially for Steel Soul, that came as like a... That was like a condom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that was like a condom. And then again, I do just run around and just tank a bunch of shit. <laughs> you know? Because I don't care half the time, but still. Solid A tier. Try... Come on, do I have to talk about it? Come on, man! Come on, man! Do I have to talk about it? Yeah, that's pretty true. Moving on the Glowing Womb. Uh, this is... I never use this ability. It's okay for attack. It's okay. it's okay. I put it in C tier. It takes away your soul. It doesn't do that much damage. Like, it's okay, I guess. Really mid charm. Average. Uh, Grim Child. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mom said to pick the very- I can't put it above Dream Wielder. Because it has terrible aim too. This is Quick Slash, right? No, this is Quick Slash. This is Long Nail. Wrong. This is Heavy Blow. I thought this was Long Nail. Oh, there's Long Nail. I'm fucking stupid. This is Dog Water. But do I want this in D tier or Hot Boiled? You know what? It's like the top of Hot Boiled. If anyone can tell me who uses this charm, I will come over to your house and give you a fresh flashlight. You wonder why you don't have friends and you don't fit in. Anyway, high blood. I think is A tier above fragile art. Well, actually, I'm only thinking of this as a beginner. If I think of this as a experienced player, I barely use this at all. I'll put it in low B. I'll never complain when I get it, but I'll never use it. King Soul. This is one of those lifeblood charms. I don't really like these. Nah, not even above that. Mark of Pride. I mean, yeah, like that's the problem. Like it's three charm slots. I barely use it because it is three charm slots, but it is really good. I can't put it in S tier knowing that it costs three charm slots when there's fragile strength. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I'll put it in A. High A, because it is really good, but like compared to Fragile Strength, like I'm not picking that over Fragile Strength or Shaman Stone. It's not even above Fragile Heart. Fuck out of here. Uh, Nail Master's Glory, C tier. High C tier. What? No, no, all right. I know that sounds bad. Um, no, B tier. Low B tier. I don't use nail arts personally. I use spell. I use spells. The only time I use Nail Master's Glory is against Markov. That's it. And the reason why I put Nail Master's Glory down there is because Shaman Stone exists and it deserves. To well, yeah, I mean, Shaman Stone is Jesus incarnated. But I'm thinking, as an extra charm, is it better than Dream Wielder? Honestly, yes, it is better than Dream Wilder as an extra charm. What is this? Shape of Oon? I mean, moving around while healing is cool, but like, I don't need to because I'm just that good. Stop the cap. I'll put it in C. What is this? Soul Eater? Da, 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 da. It costs four charm notches. Four charm notches. If this is Soul Eater, or, or, are you kidding me? That's low C tier, man. Like, let, let me count them. One, two, Four charm notches automatically L spell twister. This is a tier and might be above fragile heart. Now I think about it. Being able to spam spells is really broken with shamans. Yeah, it's S tier. Just being able to. This is Stuart Shell. 
Make you invincible longer? Man, fucking... Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck uses that bullshit? What the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck out of here with that. No one uses that. This is steady body. This is... Completely depends on your build. And also, if you're used to it. But I am personally not used to it. Like, I'm used to just taking that back. Out of respect for the builds that can be put on with this, I have to put it in a t in probably low A tier. This is the same as this one, but just doesn't break. Uh, Weaver Song. Now, this one is the same tier as not as Grimchild. Yeah, a bit more useful than Grimchild, but the same tier. It's like Grimchild, but with better aim. And the spiders go crazy. Uh, it's funny with watching the spiders like fucking hit the walls and shit. Balder Shell. Definitely better than Boiled Dog shit. It's low D tier though. Why would you heal when you would when they attack you? Like if you're a newbie, sure use it. But like, fuck uses his charm and they're good at the game. The fuck. Anyway, Carefree Melody. And my first uh, ever run of Hollow Knight. This was a big one. I really liked the having like random free hits. That was kind of cool. I'll put it in high A right now. No fucking Mark of Pride. No, what the fuck? Is this Mark of Pride. Study body. I'll keep it right there. I like using it when it's in Trial of the Fool. Because, like, one free hit every time is kind of cool. However, it's still not as good as these. Like, it's still not good at all these right here. Like, come on. Dash Master. I'm not going to put it next to High Blood. Get the fuck out of here. High C tier. The only thing I don't like about Dash Master is that it makes you dash down. Like, I understand some people say, like, Wow, that's such a cool mechanic. No! When I'm doing fucking Pogo, I don't want to, like, accidentally angle myself slightly down and go into some spikes like what the fuck deep focus now this is extremely low c tier maybe i'll even put nah low c tier four charm notches do i have to explain more defender's crest now this is good with certain builds and it's decent for just walking around because like you get some free damage off i'll put it at the back of b tier very low b it's good for with fluke nest like if you're combining this and this is really good. Now, yeah, like I said, this one combined with this one really is a really good combo. It does a shit ton of damage. However, I have to say that I never use this because I prefer to have my shit go through walls and do damage. I don't know. I have to put it in C tier. I know there's a lot of builds and a lot of strats that you can use Fluke Nest on. I can't because I don't know any of them and I am not going to look them up. With the, with the build potential in mind, I'll put it in the same tier as Defender's Crest. Alright, now moving on to Fragile Agree. This is like, is this C tier or D tier? I don't really like this charm like that. I mean, some people be like, oh, more money. Oh, oh, oh. But, like, listen, how much more does it actually give you? I'll have to put it at low C tier. Maybe D tier. Maybe high D. Definitely better than that. Fury of the Fallen. Hmm, you're doing a, you're doing some good convincing. So I guess that's a strat. You just get to one HP, then use a bunch of cocoons and go okay. crazy. I was gonna put it in low B tier. However, just for the potential, and you have gave me a very convincing argument, I will now put it at high A tier. For average players, it's not gonna have that much use. But like for really good players, like this is too good. Now gathering swarm, I had to put this in S tier. The second best exploration charm. In the game you know how much money i missed just by walking around dude i don't have to get my money anymore all right uh grubber flies elegy where would i put this low b tier because i mean like the second you get hit is useless i don't do too much dodging i just like take the hits and just go forward you know so like i don't like grubber flies elegy too much now the grubber flies elegy fury the fallen combo is pretty good as well grub song i will put this in high a this is Joni's blessing. Hmm. Below Dash Master. That's for sure. Uh, this is Lifeblood. Whatever. <laughs> I don't use any of these charms. No, I'll put it in low C tier because I don't know it. I instantly don't like Lifeblood charms. Long Nail. Long Nail has to go in low A tier. Nah. Above Nail Master's Glory, though. And Dream Wielder. Nah. Yeah, it's just a worse version of Marker Pride that costs less. You know? Which makes sense. Quick focus. Now, this is controversial. This is going to seem very controversial to you guys, but I got to. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. 
You know how people say like, oh, against Pure Vessel, you can only heal once. When Pure Vessel gets knocked, I can heal twice. Mm -hmm. I can heal twice when Nightmare King, when Nightmare King Grim does the up attack, like the spikes from the ground attack. I can heal twice and other people can heal once. Mm -hmm. Like being able to heal faster means I can do other attacks. I can attack again faster. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's, it's too good for me. I don't know. Quick Slash. Now, I don't use it as much as Quick Focus, though, but I thought to put it up there. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? Bro, what the fuck? Did, what did you just say? Sharp Shadow. C tier. That's high C tier. Like, half the enemies in the game explode, so, like, dashing through them with Sharp Shadow, you dash through them and you get hit. And because of that inconvenience, I can't seriously mess with it. Soul Catcher. This is one. This is a charm I put on when I just want to, you know, put on a random charm to just have on. So I have to put it right here. High B tier. Spore Shroom. Mid. Very high D tier. Probably low C, but I'll put it in high D. It's another throwaway charm. It's like, okay, I need another charm to put on. Oh, well, let me just put this on. Nice. <laughs> Sprint Master. Low C tier. I use it more than I use Spore Shroom. Simply because I like moving a tiny bit faster. Thorns of Agony. This is also high b tier what? right above sports room revenge hit cool but like what if i don't want a revenge hit <laughs> it does come in use very rarely when and it gets a free knock on but like what the fuck man who the fuck gonna use that bullshit fragile greed unbreakable greed same thing it's fragile greed fragile heart this is another control c control v void heart i don't feel anything i'll put it in low b simply because it does make the void easier to navigate because they want to attack you. And Wayward Compass, is this even a question? Anyway, take a screenshot if you want. This is the Bluey tier list, the 100% true Bluey tier list. And if you don't agree, I don't care. Bye. Why doesn't you walk for a late night?